Salutations, Killjoy Nation, and welcome back, finally, to Bumper Wars, A Crash Course in Survival. Uh, last time, I nearly pulled out all of my hair, because I lost on the last possible kill. And, uh, I've stepped away from this game for a while, and now we're gonna hop back in, and we're gonna do level 8. Here we go. Looks as if you got that transfer after all. Seems the Zedite Command didn't want to lose a driver of your caliber to Zalernian gas poisoning, when they could lose you in the arena instead. You have a new work release job at the Odd Machine Works, a massive industrial plant that produces spacecraft and land vehicles, including the BW cars. It's tough to work in wrist irons and ankle straps, but the 9-inch scar on your back speaks the virtues of not complaining. And so, by day, you will build and test drive vehicles, by night, you will drive for real in the arena. No weapons allowed here, Convict. It's all about the vehicle. You made it, you drive it. So thank goodness we got our transfer after all. It's good. So now we have to bump off all of our enemies without weapons before the clock expires. We haven't done this since level 2, but it's a lot harder now because there's more cars and there's less time. We still have our meat grinder. We might want to use him again. Uh, it's a very fast car, has low defense, but it's great for bumping, so I think we're gonna give it another try. We'll try this color. I like the black and the white. Let's go. Gentlemen, start your engines. Oh, you too, microbe. Oh, you're so polite, Mr. Zedite. Anyway, this is a level where we're just gonna be using bumper power, and we have no weapons at our disposal kind of stinks, especially since there are high defense cars on this level, so they're going to take a, a whole lot of hits. What really is frustrating is that I've gotten these the defensive cars down to minimal health, and then somebody will steal my kill, so that might happen. You might see me rage out. We gotta get that power cell, that seems very important. We'll take that, we'll maybe get rid of Kong? Yeah, we got rid of one guy. Oh my gosh, we fell. It's gonna take a little bit of damage there, but we're okay. Might as well pick up the power cell. Whoa! I went over the wall! That's terrible! I only have... I only have five minutes to do this. Dying is a bad thing. Oh, by the way, before I continue, we have... What is this? I forgot to read it. Uh, 11 minutes in easy mode, 8 minutes in medium mode, and only 6 minutes in hard. There we go. Doing this all backwards. <laughs> but now we're gonna take on Dumby. Not the smartest guy in the room. Oh, one bad thing, I, I, as I said before, is that those defensive cars are on the map now, and since we don't have one of those cars, it's really hard to destroy those cars. Couldn't have said that any better. Wow. Man, there's a yellow name we go over there. We'll, we'll, we'll deal with the, the defensive cars in a minute. It's better to get these other cars out of the way so they don't steal your kills. Because once you get these defensive cars down to red health, you do not want one of these little guys stealing your kill. It's the most frustrating thing. Oh, we landed on Dumby. That was great. We will have a headache tomorrow. So we can take out Undertaker here. Ah, oh, sad. It doesn't count. Uh, you're, when you push somebody off the map, it doesn't count as a kill. So it makes it like the game thinks that the person just drove off the map. So that's kind of lame. Seems like an oversight in programming. That's okay. That is all right. So now we have three out of six kills, and the only ones that are left are these defensive cars. Now, the defensive cars can kill each other, and that's also super annoying, but if we can take them out before they take each other out, we'll be in good shape. We have three minutes to do this, so a little more than three minutes. We have like three minutes and 40 some odd seconds. I think we should be okay. Oh, can we... If we can mash him into a wall... Sometimes you can link together a whole bunch of hits by smashing them into the wall repeatedly. And if you just hold down the turbo bump, and push them into a wall, you can get a lot of damage done. You can really destroy them. So really, we're just hitting everybody here. I'm not just focusing on one. I'm trying actually to try to take out the general here. But, uh... We're not really saving time by taking the general out. But... He is immediately in front of me, so I figure why not take him out? I gotta pay attention to my health, too. Mine's, my health is getting a little low. I need to get some health. That is super important. There we go. Oh, come on. How many more hits are you gonna take? Oh, come on. Stop running away. 
You chicken. I'm giving him some pretty decent hits too. You can see how many hits these things take and the, the war veteran is now gone. That's a good deal. The seasoned war vet is now dead. There we go, more turbo for us. Let's get Desert Dave. I think he's our next victim or dumby. This is the only two guys left on this map. Let's go up here. Is there any health up here? I guess I guess I could get this. The power cell does recharge a little bit of your health, and I'll get the defense thing. Or never mind. Uh, the, the defense is... Uh, when you pick up a power cell, that, that uh, also counts as picking up a uh, defensive boost. As you see that I'm glowing in the blue. Come on, Desert Dave. Come here, Desert Dave. Get over here. Yeah. Come on. Oh, I'm stuck in the... Okay. I was stuck on the... Ra I was stuck on the rail. Uh, I've, I've actually ramped up those rails. I don't know if I could do it. Uh, almost, yeah. I don't know how high you can get on those things, but uh, that's just a, a, a neat little thing you can do. I did that on accident one time. I'm like, what? How am I going to go? How can I get back down? But uh, that's just something fun. I need health. I want to destroy those guys, but I don't want to die in the process. So, we'll get that, we'll pick up a power cell while we're here, we might as well pick up this final health pack and just take care of them, because we have a minute and 20, 24 seconds to take them out now. Where did they go? Oh, they they knew I was going to come up there, they just knew. They knew I was on my way back. And they're not as dumb as I thought they were. Dumby's kind of dumb, but Desert Dave, all these D names. Where is Dumpy? All right, come here, Dumpy. I have a minute to get rid of you. I think I can do that. That shouldn't be hard at all. Come here. Get over here. Get... Get yourself dead. Turn you into just shrapnel. Let's pick up that health. We should be in the clear here, hopefully. Unless I screw up horribly. But I think we should be okay. This is one of the more annoying missions in the game. It's not particularly difficult, but uh, it's just annoying that you cannot, you can barely do any damage to these huge defense cars. But once once we take out Dumby here, we should be good to go. And you see how many hits I've had to, I've had to deliver to this poor guy. There we go. Keep fooling yourself, prisoner. Ultimate freedom is a mirage. I'm sure you'd like to think that, but I am progressing at a faster rate than you can even imagine. So, that's the end of that level, so next time on Let's Play Bumper Wars, we are going to go into level 9. So, until next time guys, I'm American Killjoy, I hope you're having a great day, and I will see you next time.